Hey there, welcome to the first game of the NHL 07 full season. Hope everyone's weekend's going better than mine. Weekend didn't, didn't go too good yesterday, Saturday. I was supposed to buy a truck off some guy and he was out of town, so he was supposed to call me back. He didn't call me back. So hopefully I can get the truck tonight. Then I was playing a Bobo's Big Adventure on my computer. I got man through my Nintendo controller at the computer and didn't think I threw that hard, but destroyed my computer screen, laptop, but luckily I have an HDMI cable so I can plug it into the TV and still see what's going on. If I don't buy the truck this weekend, I'm going to go ahead and buy a computer, but anyway, let's look at the matchup for the first game, Chicago Blackhawks, which is going to be the team that I'll be in control of. Overall, 83, Nashville Predators, you see, also 83. Offensively, they got, they're ahead 86 to 84. Defensively, they're ahead 86 to 80. But goaltending, I'm up 87 to 77. So, you see the ranks at the bottom conference and division, but you really can't go by those because none of the teams have played yet, so pretty much going in alphabetical order. See Chicago's in the central division you got Chicago, Detroit, Nashville, St. Louis. Although I don't know why Nashville would be fifth because they take a look at this. Okay, so maybe it doesn't go in alphabetical order like some games do, but that's the way they got them ranked. Okay, let's go ahead and start the game. That's kind of weird. I guess two players can actually play same team so I could put controller one over the Chicago Blackhawks I could also put controller two over the Chicago Blackhawks you can have two players play against the computer which would be kind of interesting and you also get to choose your jersey you can wear your road jersey whoops okay alternate jersey let's go this way away jersey home vintage 27 vintage 26 Vintage 43, there's the alternate. Go ahead and wear a away jersey because Nashville is going to automatically be wearing their home jersey. Line changes, I'm going to put on manual. Shot, aim, auto. I'm not going to be able to do much commentary throughout the game because you're going to have the announcers talking. touch him. The announcers always say that, say it's a good call, and it turns out it wasn't, and vice versa. Nashville is about to go to work on its first power play of the game. Let's see if they can cash in. We want to establish a good power play early, even if you don't score. Build confidence and keep momentum going. Here's Chase 
speed up too. As the season goes on, I might even lose this game. They're getting ready for the face-off. Here comes the face-off won by Hansu. Here's Keith. He turns the puck over. And he passes the puck to Cody. Now passed over to Saul. Pass up to Mayers. Look at that. What are the odds he happens to pick it up? Sullivan goes offside and the play is stopped. We're ready for the face-off. Face-off goes to Chicago. Hosa dumped the puck in. He passes the puck to Lightball. Shot. Puck makes the save. Cleared out of the zone by Hosa. He passes it to Lightball. Now over to Hartnell. No, he didn't. It just falls off the stick every time they cheat. I hit them and it doesn't affect them. Like a dozen times now, it's happened. Nashville moves out to center. To And there ain't no players. Here's Jason Arnett. He's in over the blue line on the attack. I like the international talk. Victor. Big shot on target. Grabbed by Nashville. Here's Paul Korea who got off to a good start with the game's first goal. He gains the blue line on the attack. Pretty nice glove save by Nick Heavy Bullman. He wasn't on his forehand, so that probably allowed the goalie time to get his skate on it. The ref is signaling for the faceoff. Legwall won the draw. Under two minutes to go in the second period. Ahead to two two. Now he just dumps the puck in. Shots are 14 6 for Nashville. And that wraps up the period. It's 3 0 after 40 minutes of play as we head into the break.
Look at that stuff that you're going. It seems like every time my players have the puck, they just barely tat me and just loses the puck. They make my team look like they belong in the Special Olympics. It's just dirty and cheating. Chicago fell even further behind in the second period, allowing a pair of goals, and now they trail 3-0. I tell you what, Jim, getting back in this game is a donkey pass for any team. But a good physical start to this third would really help. It's dumped in by Arnett. Into the corner he goes. One timer. You gotta be kidding me. Chicago takes control. Patrick clears it safely out. Here's Steve Sutton. Oops, I forgot something. Quick shot. The Kashiwa made the save. Forgot to take the puck no with me. No for this guy, but he was instrumental in getting at least one point on the board. While you do what you can, if you can't be the star, you can still help out your teammates. The face-off goes to the Predators. From behind the net. To Mark Erat. Nashville will get a chance to move out. Save. That shot had a lot on it. 
He was able to stay in position and keep it out. always tell when they're going to score when they start making all these perfect plays. Everything you try to do to stop them doesn't work. You know the ball's coming. Of course he knew because it's a computer. You know what's going to happen. Nasty Nashville. Face off in a circle, you can get a one time or goal. Look at that, it just takes it right off my stick. Barry Trotz looks like a gorilla. After we wrap up at ice level, tonight's three stars of the game will be presented by Dodge. Check out the all new 2007 Dodge Nitro. Grab life by the home. This is Jim Houston with Craig Simpson. From all the team here at EA Sports, we'll see you next time. I got a co-worker that refuses to play sports games because he said they all cheat. And I think the majority of them do. See, some of the older games, though, on Nintendo and Super Nintendo, you can find a way to counteract the cheating. But as the artificial intelligence gets more advanced, there's not much you can do about it. I mean, how often do you see a professional hockey player skating down the ice, he barely gets hit and forgets to take the puck with him? Or how often do you see a player just come up to another player and take the puck right off the stick? I mean, that's not going to happen. for the rest of the teams. Take a look at the standings. 
pretty early in the season to do this, but here's a look at it. My wonders are in first. All the title Pittsburgh, New Jersey, and New York Rangers. I think in the NHL is just like the Tecmo games. I think when you got the same record, I think it goes by goals for and goals against. Not sure though. I'm pretty sure the old games did. I don't know if the, these newer ones did or do. You know, like the, I think NHL 99 did that, but I'm not sure about this one. Carolina, 1 1, Tampa Bay and Florida, 1 0. Eastern Conference, Ottawa Leeds. And there's Chicago in the middle of the division, Nasty Nashville in first. Sharks and Anaheim, 1 0. Vancouver leads their division, four points. By the way, in case you don't understand the hockey numbers, the points, they go by points when ranking divisions. I know when I first got into hockey, I became a hockey fan when I was like 17. I started losing interest in baseball and started getting interested in hockey. Right, right around the age of 16 or 17, it was when NHL 94 came out. It was the first hockey game I've played on the Super Nintendo. But anyways, they rank the goes by points. And you get two points for a win. Back then it was a point for for a tie, but now they don't have ties, so if you get an overtime loss, you get one point for it. So as you see like the Islanders, Penguins, Devils, Rangers, they all have one win, so they get two points. And I don't think we... Oh, yeah, there we go. LA Kings, they have one overtime loss, so that counts as one point. So that's why you see the Sharks Anaheim are at the top. They got two points for their wins. Kings, Kings, Coyotes, and Stars all lost, but the Kings got beat in overtime or a shootout, one or the other, so they get one point out of that. Take a look at our next game. And what I'm going to have to do, we got the Vancouver Canucks and the St. Louis Blues, so I'm going to have to choose the Blues. Either the Canucks or Blues. Choose one of the teams. So that way. That's the next game, October 20th. But, as you can see, we are currently on October 7th on the calendar. October 8th, we jump back to our Tecmo Super Bowl season, which is week 6. And then the 15th will be week 7. So we're going to see two more Tecmo weeks. Actually, one more game, week six, because week seven we don't have any games scheduled. We're in auto skip, so we'll see one more Tecmo Super Bowl game before we jump back into the next hockey game. So, what I like to do after every game is save my season just in case computer glitches or something. takes a while. So I hope you didn't enjoy the game, but I hope you enjoyed something about my, the commentary. I sure certainly did not enjoy the game, but see you in the next video. Green Bay Packers at Dallas Cowboys Tecmo Super Bowl 3 Final Edition Full Season Week 6.